abortion is the ending of a pregnancy by removal or explosion of an embryo or fetus before it can survive outside the uterus. I delve into Antigua and Barbuda's abortion law. For clarification, I spoke with the Attorney General, the Honorable Stedroy Benjamin. Any person who is or believes she's pregnant and she tries to procure an abortion, she's guilty of an offense and she can be fined and or sentenced to imprisonment to a term of 10 years in prison. Now on the other hand, if somebody supplies it, um, that sort of noxious material it's called for the purpose of an abortion and found guilty, that person can be sent to prison for two years. That's section 56 of the Act and 57 of the Offenses Against the Person Act in Antigua and Barbuda. However, the Attorney General states some circumstances when an abortion is permitted in Antigua and Barbuda. For example, where the mother's health is in fact in, 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 in the problem, uh, if a team of doctors, they meet, they discuss the case, and they think that the mother's health is at risk. In those cases, an abortion sometimes is, is, is given, but that is not provided in our law. Additionally, if somebody is raped, and there's a pregnancy, that is normally done. How old is that law? This law is 146 years old. I ask if it is time to revisit the abortion law. Hopefully, we're going to have discussions in the public, we're going to get the advice of the public, then we go back to cabinet and make the determination. Organizations are in place to help prevent unwanted pregnancies. One example is Planned Parenthood. Here at Planned Parenthood, we offer a wide range of birth control methods that will help in um, preventing pregnancy, giving couples the opportunity to space their children so that they have the amount of children when they want, not just having children because, you know, you're having sexual intercourse and a child comes. Although it is a common practice here in Antigua and Barbuda, the Attorney General says only one person has been charged with the offense since he started practicing law. And I can only recall one instance when someone was charged with this offense. Regrettably, too, a young lady was pregnant and someone used a clothes hanger, you know that, that hanger, yes. and tried to abort that child. What happened was that the child suffered internal injuries. So the child had to be taken to the hospital. It was only in those circumstances that the whole thing was investigated and an appropriate charge was brought against the person who attempted to abort the child. But apart from that, I have not come across in 38 years of practice in the law any prosecution at all for this matter. Shannon Jarvis reporting for ABS News.